Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lesson, we'll talk about how to maintain supplier in SQL accounting system. In SQL accounting system, to maintain a supplier, you just need to go to the supplier module, maintain supplier. Same as maintain customer, when you log into the maintain supplier, you can see that this is the fastest way for you to know is there any outstanding from you to your supplier. Do you owe your supplier money? And to search a supplier, as I mentioned before, the first row is empty according to column. You just need to type your supplier name. Maybe you can't remember the full name, you just click communications, C-O-M, M. -M so this is all the communications company. So if you cannot remember the name, you know someone or you have a missed call, you think this is your supplier, you just type the phone number, let's say 1313, you get your supplier. And if you want to use other column or other field to search and it's not over here, it's not in here, you just need to right click on any column title, for example, phone number one, right click the column title. So you can select the field chooser, pull out the field you want, for example, email, you just drag and drop. Oh, you do not want to put in next to attention. You want to put next to phone number. You just drag and drop again. As simple as that. And for those which you do not want it, just drag and put inside the customization. Or just right click, remove this column. Okay. Or another option is at the first button on the column header a very small button with a lot of lines you just click so maybe you click on fax number one so you have fax number one over here you have the same effect as field chooser so let's create a supplier so we just need to go to new or if you want to edit a supplier just click on that supplier and click edit remember you can only delete a supplier or customer if there is no transaction happened before so we go and create a new supplier called SQL Server Hub. And same thing, you key in the address and contact info. The code will be appear uh, accordingly, okay, automatically by using the first word for your supplier. So let's say this supplier have a branch or have any other contact info. You just click on the plus sign next at the branch section. Let's say Penang, so you have a Penang address for this supplier, or you will have the uh, uh, marketing manager, marketing manager, who is the marketing manager, let's say it's called uh, Lee, or other contact info. So if you go to area, you want to uh, categorize this supplier to different, different area, then you can just choose from here. And you can see that it actually sharing the same area or same area information with customer so you cr have create under customer side over supplier side you can always get back the same result okay if you have not let's say you want to maintain this supplier under Cheras so what you need to do is click on the three dot button next to that field area field new so you just type Cheras Save it, then you can get the result here. So this is how you create uh, selection or options for particular field. So over here you can put in notes or so you can insert the uh, GST information for this supplier. For bank account, it actually in SQL we have a additional module called Gyro, which you can uh, maintain your supplier information, bank information over here. And using that uh, module, you can actually export out the payment to a text file that upload to the bank for this supplier. Okay, so you can also do attachment. Um, you can attach any document that related to this supplier, contract map, uh, photo, and so on. And when you attach it, so that next time when you want to search for a particular document which related to this supplier. Then you do not need to go to folder and subfolder to view. 
basically just go back to uh, maintain supplier look for this supplier and open back the uh, attach document you can have unlimited attached document same if the system will not put the document inside the database but just will create a link to that document and if that document have been removed delete or removed from the that location so the link will not function correctly so this is how simple for you to create a supplier is same with maintain a customer so um, that's all for today if you do have time do drop by at my facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies to help me to like my facebook and you can get all the latest information regarding sql regarding gst from here then if you want to watch previous tutorial video you just go to my website it's syntax.com.my then click on youtube then you can get all the latest or previous tutorial video okay once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.